Hello, and welcome to Realusion Hints and Tips. iClone Avatar Joint Constraints. Correcting character mesh distortion with copy joints and limb rotation in Motion Editor. This tutorial will make users aware of avatar joint constraints and how best to correct them when they are exceeded. These limits can be observed by a twist in the mesh or a break in the clone cloth mesh layer. This error is commonly noticed when users hyperextend a character's arms, legs, shoulders, and other key joints found in iClone, usually when creating custom motions or poses. To fix this issue, you can easily use Motion Editor to adjust these joint positions and correct any unwanted collision or mesh distortion. So let's go ahead and get started now. Step number one. This is an example of how best to correct a scenario where a custom motion needs editing to fit the character's interaction with the props in scene. Load a default project, then place an additional character in scene using the character panel. Next, load a 3D room and a sofa set prop to create a full scene. Go to Scene, 3D Scene, Template to select the room, and Props Template to select the sofa set. Step number two, apply a sitting motion to your G2 character. Go to Animation, motion and select a casual talk mel 06 this is the motion that we will edit making a change to the avatar's right arm position if you don't have this motion use a default sitting motion found in your template step number three making a change to the avatar's right arm position will require that you activate motion editor and using the modify tab go to modify and then locate the launch button found in the motion editor portion of the menu. Step number four, once you've successfully opened motion editor, you can begin the process of editing the preset motion data. Use the insert current pose button to add a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. Click the edit button and use the joint rotate tool to rotate the shoulder. You may want to zoom in for this process. Once you've placed the joint, click the copy joint button from the top. Step number five, now that you've copied the joint placement that you need, you need to paste the joint. Do this by selecting the remainder of the motion on the timeline, then use the paste joint button. Selecting relative will paste the entire edit to the motion relative to the existing motion data. Step number six, now to export and save your custom motion, you need to go to File, export to iClone, and save your edited motion as Sitting Motion Edit. Then click the Save button. Step number seven. After saving, your new motion will be automatically applied. You can then use the Play Pause button to review your new edit. If you experience a break in the clone cloth mesh layer at any point in the real time playback, you will need to edit the motion again to correct the unwanted collision. Again, return to Motion Editor for further editing. Step number eight. After returning to Motion Editor, select the first keyframe, then use the tools provided to correct the motion at the point of error. Activate the ability to rotate the joints needed to correct this issue. Use the Joint Rotate tool again to rotate the shoulder and the arm. The end outcome should be that the mesh breakage will disappear, so rotate accordingly. Once you've replaced the joint properly, select the joint and click Copy Joint once again from the top. Do this for all joints needed. Step number nine, now that you've reset and copied the corrected joint placement, you need to paste the joint again. Do this by selecting the remainder of the motion on the timeline and select Paste Joint, and then choose Relative again to paste the edit to the entire motion relative to the existing motion data. Step number 10. Now to re-export and save your edited custom motion you need to again go to File, Export to iClone, and save your edit as Sitting Motion Edit 2. Then simply click the Save button. Step number 11. This will automatically apply your new motion edit to your avatar. If the rotation edit has corrected the mesh collision then you should see no breakage in the real-time playback. 
view the playback by clicking the play pause button. Now on to techniques for correcting a twist during a custom motion. Step number 12. A different scenario is used to portray the G1 or Generation 1 mesh twist. In this example you will be using a running motion. Load a scene with a G1 character and then apply a run motion. Go to animation, motion, template, and select a run female. If you do not have the run female motion, any run motion will work. Step number 13. Editing the avatar's arm position will require that you once again activate motion editor using the modify tab. Locate the launch button under the motion editor portion of the menu. Step number 14. Back inside of motion editor, you can begin the process of editing the preset motion data once again. Use the insert current pose button to add a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. Click the edit button and then use the joint rotate tool to rotate the upper arm back so that our avatar's arm will swing farther back in relation to the original motion data. The end outcome should be that your character will swing her arms wider while she runs. So rotate the joint accordingly. Once you place the joint, click copy joint again from the top. Step number 15. After copying the joint placement, you need to paste the joint. Do this by selecting the remainder of the motion on the timeline, then use the paste joint button from the top. Selecting relative to paste the edit to the entire motion relative to the existing motion data. Step number 16. Go through the export process once again and then save your file as running edit. If you're happy with the result, use the play pause button to review. If you experience a twist or distortion in the G1 mesh at any point in the real-time playback, you will need to edit the motion again to correct the unwanted collision seen here. Return to Motion Editor to reposition the joint properly. Step number 17. After returning to Motion Editor, select the original keyframe, then use the Edit button from the top, once again, to activate the ability to rotate and move joints needed to correct the issue. Use the Joint Rotate tool once again to rotate the shoulder. The end outcome should be that the mesh breakage will disappear once back in iClone. So rotate the joint accordingly. Once you've replaced the joint, select the joint and click Copy Joint. Step number 18. After copying the corrected joint placement, you need to paste the joint. Do this by selecting the remainder of the motion on the timeline, then use the Paste Joint button. Selecting the relative motion once again to edit the entire motion relative to the existing motion data. Step number 19. Go through the export process once again, renaming your file as Running Edit 2, and go ahead and select Save. You can then select the Play Pause button to review. Notice that our twist, our unwanted mesh distortion, is now gone. Your new motion edit will correct the unwanted collision. Step number 20. View the playback by clicking the play pause button, then save your corrected custom motion by selecting the custom tab and using the add button from the bottom of the menu. Save your new file as corrected run iClone along with Motion Editor can provide a quick and easy way to create new poses or motions for your characters. Together they also allow users to correct areas that are commonly tricky for 3D modelers to distort without weighting issues becoming a problem for more extreme poses and motions. This is a useful set of tips to use in conjunction with iClone and Motion Editor to ensure the best possible quality for your next custom character animation. For more information please feel free to visit www dot realusion.com or contact technical support.